Good. All righty. So this is our 2023 Viper 27V motorhome. Uh, cool thing about this one is it's got an all exterior paint and that's custom. That is a beautiful looking paint job. It's definitely going to stand out out there on the road. What you're looking at over here, you got your heated remote side view mirrors, which is nice because a lot of them these days, they're manual. You got to go outside and manually adjust them to make sure they work right. This, you can sit inside with a remote or next to your control panel, just toggle it as you wish. Out here, you got your windows and these have a roll around where the water just drops down and doesn't get in there. You got your awning uh, and then you got your LED light under the awning. What you're looking at lengthwise in this one is about 28 and a half feet uh, and then width eight feet and it has two slides and it sleeps about three people. So unless you're stacking them. Out here you have your outdoor TV um, that has a speaker system and you can just watch TV out here, chill, grab a beer, sit outside and do whatever. Coming around the side here, we'll go inside here. You can look at some stores and everything. You got your electric step. Now this comes out when you open the door, it just pops out of there. Uh, it's real bougie. I like it. It feels like I'm getting first class service from a robot or something. I don't know. But come in the this is a, here. a really cool motorhome too. Like if you want to go out west, because mm -hmm. there's certain places that are kind of tight to get in. Some of the national parks are a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. uh, and this thing is just basically, uh, it's considered a C, but it's like a, a B++, right? Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, tons of space, but you can see it has a normal Ford van front end. Uh, so it's, it's like a normal class C. But again... You just have tons of space inside this thing, but you're, you don't have a huge footprint. So it's very easy to back into most campsites. It's very easy to maneuver most campgrounds and most national parks. And the, the quality is really incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, Nexus is a great company. I oh, mean, yeah. you just, you'd absolutely love this thing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, keep showing us around. Oh yeah, I love the Nexus brand. They're a real nice trailer. So up here, you got your, your vent fan here. You can open that up and get some of the heat and whatnot out of here. Got your storage all along here with your TV on a swivel and you pull it out and go either way you need to. Storage compartments up here with plug-ins for if you need to plug something in up here, rest right there, plugs in in there. And there's also lights in there. Over here, you have your dinette. This has, uh, I mean, excuse me, your booth here. And this goes down into a, another bed here. It also has seat buckles. A lot of people are wondering if they have seat buckles. They do. Sometimes they're just underneath there. They do come out and you do have seat buckles for when you're traveling. Show them some of the storage up in the uh, show them some of the storage up in the nose. Yeah, up in the nose here. And so, Bill wanted to know, is this is this gas? Yes, Bill, it is gas. This yes, is not is. diesel, this is gas. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got your storage up there. More storage up here for whatever you need. And then you got the same type of compartments on this side here. So it's a nice, nice feature they add in here. Also, hidden hinge doors, which are nice. Now, these are nice because they're on a hydraulic. They pop up and they stay there, so you don't have to hold it up And when you're putting stuff in there. And there is three of those. And then also your light here above the dinette. You can control it from here, so you don't have to run all the way over to the control panel and to switch things on or off. We'll come into the kitchen here. Uh, you got your sink here, stainless steel sink. And this is a deep sink. Uh, you can fit a lot of anything you need in there. And whatnot, as far as dishes go. And then you have your cutting boards on top here, or uh, whatever, for extra counter space. Now, as far as microwaves go, this is a huge microwave. And it's not only a microwave, it is a convection oven. So whatever you need to cook up in here, you can do it in here. And then you have your stove top for, for any of the pots that you need to get cooking and brewing on here. And then it just, you got three burners on there. You got more storage underneath here for pots, pans, whatever you need to put in there. You got silverware drawers and whatnot, as well as your other drawers for whatever you need in there. And then under here, you got some more storage under the sink. Coming over here, we have our fridge that has a safe, a quick, easy glide travel lock there. Take a look in the fridge there. Nice deep storage and a lot of uh, the biggest complaint with fridges and RVs is it's too small. I can only fit like tiny things in little bags stacked. That's not how it is in this. You just put whatever in there because it's it's a deep fridge. Come around here. You kind of have a walk around bed. This mattress. You just walk around here. You can get around here. You got your tables here as well as your lights for reading or whatever you need to do at night. And then you've got a massive space for your clothes and everything else on the right side here as well as your TV. Now a cool thing about this TV is it does come up and you got even more space behind it. So in the bedroom here, you got your safety exit. Hopefully <laughs> you don't have to need it, but that is there if you do. And then up here, you also have a vent. We'll go into the bathroom now. Take a look in here. 
You got your standard bathroom setup. You got a little prep area next to the sink there. And as you go to the left, you got your, your shower with sliding door and everything. Cool thing about this unit is uh, it's got side view cameras. A lot of people who are, are really worried about driving something like this because they're worried that uh, when you're driving down the road, it's like, how do I see right? How do I see left? My mirrors only cover so much. Side view cameras, they're activated either on that control panel or when you turn it right or left. Another thing it has is power stabilizer jacks on there as well as a 15,000 BTU AC and that is ducted. So uh, we'll be taking a look now at the next unit here. 